Hi friends, welcome to Parallel People Channel. Today we are going to make sugar candy rocket. It's not sugar rocket, it's not bulky, it's compact and small and use caramelized sugar because of that it's sugar candy rocket. To make this rocket, the first thing we need is a tube. We can just make paper tubes with variety of sizes but I recommend the size uh, with radius 2.5 to 3 centimeter. And you can make this by taking a simply a stick or pencil or a marker pen and wrapping this paper around it with glue. But make sure the tube must have enough thickness to withstand the burning. When the tube is finished, we can move on to the next important thing. For the propulsion of the rocket, we need a fuel and oxidizer. Here we are taking sugar as a fuel and potassium nitrate as an oxidizer. We can, uh, we can make 50-50 mixture out of this. So uh, equal amount of sugar and equal amount of potassium nitrate is only necessary. For making that, just mix these uh, two ingredients in in a glass or something uh, that can withstand heat. Now, after mixing these two ingredients, we need to heat it up. By heating it up, we can see the sugar is caramelizing and sticking this this potassium nitrate into it. So, by doing this, we can get an even paste-like mixture that is very useful for the propulsion. After getting this paste-like consistency, your fuel oxidizer mixture is ready. You can put this mixture inside the tube. Don't worry about its loose texture because it will solidify quickly. But make sure before it solidifies, you need to uh, pinch a hole through it in the center. Let me show you its power. It's very powerful mixture. You can see it burning very quickly. This is what we needed. A lot of gas must be expelled by this reaction. This uh, strong expulsion of gas is the reason for these rockets to fly forward. We use this potassium nitrate as a source of oxygen. Every type of burning needs a supply of oxygen. With huge rocket engines we really use liquid oxygen for this purpose. But here we only need potassium nitrate. It will oxidize the sugar and it will release high amount of heat and gases. These expanding gases will propel this rocket forward. Now after completing the, uh, the whole process, we need to cover the top portion because we don't need any gas expelling from the top because it will not move forward. So we need to cover up with some paper or something like that. Then we need a tail fin to stabilize the rocket. A small kind of tail fin that will match the, the size of the rocket. After attaching the tail fin and every such kind of things, the rocket is ready and you can fire. Okay, let's test our rocket. You can see it's successful. Thank you for watching and for more videos, please subscribe our channel. And if you like this video, click the like button. See you in the next video.